Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 13 of I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Um, things are getting a little bit more interesting and more intimidating with her mom and her mom's personality traits. So, let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, please click off the video now. You guys have been warned. Chapter 13. There's a lot of talk about big breaks in Hollywood, but so far I haven't experienced that. Instead, I've experienced a bunch of little breaks in that trickle in just as I'm almost positive I won't catch one again. Mom says Hollywood's like a bad boyfriend. They keep stringing you along without making any type of formal commitment. I'm not exactly sure what this means, but it sounds right. So far, my little breaks since Matt TV have been these. A commercial for Dental Land. The dentist's office we shot the commercial in was in a Westland shopping mall, so we got to spend the lunch break walking around the mall and mom got me a grab bag from scenario surprises for being by far the best actor of the group we were all sitting down for the commercial so i'm not sure what gave mom that idea that i was better a better actor than everybody else but i'll take the compliment if it gets me a scenario grab bag a low budget independent movie called shadow fury mom complained because i wasn't even paid a principal salary my baby deserves a proper salary when she spends halloween crouched over a fake dying man with sugar blood running down his arms and the scene my fake dad gets shot and i hear the gunshot from upstairs come downstairs and cradle his head while he dies in my arms the sugar blood was not the worst part of it despite how sticky the and uncomfortable it was the worst part was by far the mic pack the budget was so low that they didn't have a proper waistband for the mic pack so they just duct taped it to my body and at the end of the night i cried while they peeled the duct tape off me but we got home in time to catch the 2 30 a.m rerun of conan o'brien and mom seemed aloe vera gel on smeared aloe vera gel on my body while we watched it so it wasn't all bad a role in an episode of malcolm in the middle this one was particularly exciting because it was my first guest star role instead of co-star co-star roles are usually 15 lines or less credited at the end of the episode guest star roles are typically more significant and credited at the beginning the episode was about the mom character dreaming of having girls instead of boys i played the female dewey aka daisy they put hard wax behind my ears to make them poke out more because they said the trademark of Dewey is that he has big ears that poke out around and poke out and that I have small ones. The wax is bulky that made the backs of my ears really sore, but I liked the studio where we shot the episode and the producer was very kind to me. I thought Frankie Munez was nice to look at and I liked it when he said hi to me in the hallways. I felt like I was being pretty discreet about my feelings until mom snapped at me. Don't even think about it. He was way too old for you and more important, not Mormon. A Sprint PCS commercial, my first national commercial, which means residuals. Enough residuals to pay for the oak bunk bed I bought for myself. Mom did as she promised and cleared the space in grandma and grandpa's room for my bed. She wound up filling the top bunk with stacks of papers and old toys and books and things, though, which was a little frustrating since I had initially wanted to sleep on the top bunk. Mom said it was too risky anyway and that she never would have, would have let me. We can't risk you falling and cracking your head open like when Dustin fell out of the stroller at Knott's Berry Farm. I've never forgiven myself for that, and I'd never forgive myself for this, even though they give us some free boysenberry punch, which was nice, aside from the little breaks there have been a lot of sub little breaks or hints at little breaks i get callbacks for around 75 percent of the roles i auditioned for which barbara says is a good sign even if i'm not booking she's clearly doing something right barbara says to mom on the phone barbara has started talking taking mom's calls instead of laura moving on up just not right enough mom always adds she'll get there i'm telling you she'll get there barbara says you've got to be a little patient mom hangs up exasperated heavenly father please grant me patience and be quick that is the end of chapter 13 i will see you guys in the next video bye